Racing to Caulfield DSA was owning of the Group 1 Tour Rack Handicap over 1600 metres under handicap conditions. The winner was Alamosa, very impressively, uh, mind you, uh, for even he, though that he is a New Zealander. Um, he, he was super impressive and uh, you know, he beat Rockwood and Pillar of Hercules. Uh, I'll let you <laughs> kick off on this. I've seen, well, I know that I'm probably a massive fan of the New Zealander. No, no. I want to dispel that straight away. <laughs> oh, that was Zamet, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 well, Zamet's talking about the New Zealanders that are still in New Zealand. <coughs> this horse has raced here for the whole campaign. He's an Aussie now, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, okay. He's, he's an Aussie as far as He's an Aussie as far as I'm He's leaving the Bondo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move he's, on. He's an Aussie. Um, no, nah, look, um, he's a horse that's been racing here, so we knew what his form uh, line was. And it was a great vindication to the breeders that had purchased this horse. They paid a lot of money for him. I think um, six or seven million dollars as a stallion prospect. Well, it's cheap for a good horse these days, isn't it, for a stallion? It, 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 yeah, it is, um, once they've proven themselves. But this horse was not proven in the Australian state, so it was a lot of money to pay. And uh, he's by O'Reilly. He's not a reduced choice for an encoster. And, um, Thank God. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's great news because um, this is a horse that's going to get every opportunity and, and, and help to further that line. Uh, his win was very dominant yesterday, set off the pace, and uh, you know, when he unleashed his sprint, it was a, it was a very strong, you know, uh, sustained effort, and, um, and, and he left them standing. So, very good effort from the winner. Um, I still don't think that he's um, absolute top class. I think he's probably, he's just, a little bit below the, the real stars that we've got. And that's the Turek, isn't it? That's the Turek. That is, you know, yeah. It's, it's the it, ones below, you know, the exactly red dazzlers, right. those sort of horses. Yeah, yeah. no, no, it's yeah. spot on, man. Yeah. It's like, that's where he's at. Um, but great effort and a great reward. Um, uh, the runner-up, Rockwood, I thought his run was full of merit. Um, you know, first run in um, down there this time in. Um, really up in grey, too. Really up in grey. Yeah. Uh, Second yeah. up and all. He, he's a horse with his pedigree, I think, is going to go on and name, make a real name for himself. Uh, he's got a great pedigree, he's out of Foxwood, who's a, a more or less a staying mare. Um, and so for him to be showing up in these feature mile races like that, um, it might have looked like his run ended, um, but he's actually a stayer. So uh, it, was a, it was a fantastic effort. He, he may develop into quite a handy miler as well, mm. as, as, as for the future goes, but I just was really enamoured with his effort. Great effort, uh, Rockwood. And Pillar of Hercules, a horse that I highlighted um, several weeks ago with Rockwood, um, as one that was coming along well. Um, again, franked his form, uh, showed he's up to this level, um, and and he had a torrid run yesterday. He had uh, he was three deep facing the breeze. He probably had one of the hardest runs in the race. So for him to fight on and run third was was meritorious. Like for a horse that's been called a gunner and and, and whatnot, I think. I think he's um, dispelled all of those, those, those sort of comments. Um, I don't have a lot to say about the rest of the field. They're all a very even bunch of horses. Um, they'll probably, you know, get away with some minor events during the spring carnival. But for mine, um, the, you know, the, the first three are the ones to follow out of the race. Um, and from a future point point of view, particularly Rockwood. Uh, couldn't agree more. I'll only really echo your thoughts there. Um, you know, I was at the races yesterday and uh, I had two bets each way, Rockwood and Pillar of Hercules, and I thought, um, you know, it was probably a mark of really how even the field was. Um, I, I thought they were the two that, you know, really had a chance of, of running a drum there, and, and they both did. I thought two very different runs, Rockwood and, um, and Pillar of Hercules. You had Rockwood there with the gun run, box seated on the fence, got the split when it mattered and shot through. And boy, he shot through like the winner, you know. I, I, if I was calling, I, I would have all but called him the winner there, I think. Um, and uh, Alan Moser just came out of the pack and ripped home that last hundred. Um, and I couldn't agree more again that Pillar of Hercules is an enormous run. For him to hold on for third, I think he was in a photo, but he, he held on for third there after that sort of a run. Uh, big performance. Uh, I mean, I don't know what he goes to next. I suppose there's the Emirates and all that sort Probably of Probably the, the Looney Valley Mile, and then yeah. and then the uh, there's a Group Two uh, over a mile there. I think it's the, the Water Crystal, Crystal. Water, Water Crystal, Crystal, Crystal yeah. and then into the Emirates. Huh? He's won at Mooney Valley before too. Yeah, he's so got a good record there. Yeah, that, there might be a race to follow him into. And, and I agree. You know, Rockwood has the pedigree to, to, to suggest that he's got some scope to continue getting better. And 
Oh, they, you mentioned a real sharp cast rod, so um, it, and it's second not up, easy for horses second to do that. Too, second up, second up, the, mile. Winner had, the winner had fitness advantage. Yeah, first go in Melbourne. It's a tough yeah. mile too. First go in Melbourne, and, and of all the tracks in Melbourne, that'd be first go in Caulfield, you know, a graveyard for many a good Sydney horse. So um, some, some real confidence out of that race, I think, following the, those uh, couple of place getters, and I'll, I'll leave Alan Mason to you, mate, it's your horse. Yeah, look, I, the only surprise for me out of the race yesterday <laughs> was the odds on offer for Alan Mason. Um, yeah. He was coming out of the, the, the you know the best way for age races in in Australia you know the Memsey the JJ Liston and, and so on and so forth and his three runs in Australia he's been beaten a length and three quarters in each I think and, yeah. and he's been finishing on the heels of you know our wait for age stars so for him to drop back in grade I, I when I did the form I tipped him on the side on, on Friday morning and I just thought he was a four dollar hope so when they crossed the line and he came up eleven dollars it was you know it was nuts. I don't know what people are thinking um, he was certainly down in grade he drew barrier fourteen and. And I've got to give uh, the, the jockey knew it a, a rap here because although he didn't get in, he did find cover through. Yeah. Oh, you know, he did find cover and in the he settled the horse. Settled the horse lovely. Yeah, gave him field, field, isn't it? You can probably win wide there, but as long as you have cover. Cover, yeah. yeah. And you keep momentum, you know, that's mm, why yeah. it wasn't that, that drastic that he was out wide. That, that's yeah. exactly right. He got in cover and, and he was great. Look, he was he was the best uh, race horse in a, in, a, in a race yesterday and you won accordingly, I thought. Uh, the boys have already spoken about the place getters, Rockwood and Flora Hercules, they were sound efforts. Uh, and apart from that, I, I agree, there's not too much to come out of the race. Uh, you know, Sea Battle, Rahib and, that, and Valedictum run our usual honours type races and probably are up in grade of this level, of course, like uh, Sea Battle, so probably Battle Gone World was right. fourth. Mm. Uh, Turf Fontaine was disappointing. Turf Fontaine, well, he was travelelling at the home too. I thought yeah, when he got there, well. yeah, he just didn't didn't hit the line that well. Yeah. Probably needs a wet track too. Yeah, I, I would suggest. And, and, uh, and probably not Group One either. Oh, no, uh, he, he may not be. I don't know. Yeah. He's yet to prove it, isn't he? He's thereabouts. He's, just, he's yeah, there yeah, about, yeah. Maybe in Brisbane, like in Queensland, one of those. Ellis Group One. Yeah. Yeah. And the horse that hasn't come up for me is uh, Eskimo Queen. Very disappointing yeah. this this um, spring. I yeah. feel they've trained it differently this time around, haven't they? Just to run a mile, I guess. Um, probably got the Maya Classic, those sort of races in mind. And, uh, she has um, improved. She has, uh, sorry. she has to improve. Oh, yeah. she does because you've yeah. got some great horses going there, like the Hot Danishes, and uh, yeah, yeah, she really has to yeah. improve. Yeah, even yeah, though she will be dropping back in men's class, she, she needs to lift the notch a little bit, but. Oh. Uh, I think we've covered the two rack. Thank you.